Hola a todos, soy Sammy Rossi, desde aquí desde Medellín, Colombia. Los invito para que sigan sintonizando Remis el Show. Un abrazo para todos. DJ Rahatabla, and this is Remix and Show, and I have a very beautiful actress here, in, and we're in the premiere of Melt in This. For those people that are, are seeing you for the first time, my dear, what is your name and your character in the movie? So my name is Bailey, and I have the f one of the funniest roles, it's the box girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, and Bailey, how do you think uh, is, is independent films as uh, very important for Central Florida? Oh, very important for Central Florida, especially during this time, we need to keep you know, pushing the arts, pushing entertainment industry. So I'm very excited for this film and very excited for you guys to see it. Fantastic. And Bailey, um, uh, now that we're living in historic times with the pandemic, is your family and your friends safe? Absolutely. We're staying safe 24-7. Remember to wear your mask and get tested if you feel any symptoms. Just please stay safe. That is good. Well, Bailey, they're calling us to go see the movie, so let's go see it. We'll talk to Bailey after we've seen the movie. This is Remix Air Show, premiere of Melting This by... Come on, girl! We're here in Atelier Lorena, atelierlorena.com, atelierlorena.com. And Lorena's been, been very nice to let us uh, be in her studio. And look, this is what I wanted to show you that we could do for your business. These are interactive business cards. See, she has her information in the back. And a look at that. That is a, a nice, moving business card where things can jump. And imagine that. We could do this in business cards. We could do these for postcards. We could do these for flyers, brochures, um, posters of your events. So make sure you take advantage. Um, we will be we exploiting this technology for your business, your service, your product can have movement. Uh, if they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, can you imagine a, a, a photograph that can move 3D and without using any glasses? That's about an encyclopedia in one in one uh, business card. So, uh, Lorena, um, how long have you been uh, uh, with this type of concept and this type of technology? Well, you know, JJ, um, I have been fascinated by photography since mm -hmm. college years. Mm -hmm. That would be mid 90s okay. uh, so I have been testing and testing truly for the past 21 years to really get uh, to this level uh, so I'm very passionate about this technology uh, the capabilities like JJ said are immense uh, limitless Cool. Uh, so so yes. we want to put that technology to for good use to your business. And right, Lorena, they say a picture's worth a thousand. I love that. That, a, a that used words. to be my, yeah. my thing. Well, we have the encyclopedia yes, right here. Yes. <laughs> That's because right. this it, this will capture the eye of the people and it will that's what you want to do you want to uh, have them remember you because what happens to 95% of the business cards they get tossed in the trash believe me this will not get tossed anyway Lorena it has been a pleasure oh, oh, and, wonderful. and thank, thank you. you and we are very happy to yes. start this partnership yes. and uh, JR marketing with Atelier Lorena uh, you'll see the information passing by below us the phone number and also the website and our phone number and email so you could start making orders. Así que DJ Rajatabla, this is JJ saying uh, so long. Enjoy the next videos that we're going to be showing you in Remix and Show. And hey, check out atelierlorena.com. And JR Marketing. Yes. Ciao. See ya. <laughs> Cut. I love it. All right. And let me just check that. I wanted more JR marketing. Qué problema, ay Dios mío, tanta prueba. Ay, Santo se me está saliendo. 
Bueno, mi gente, yo soy DJ Rajatabla y estoy aquí en Lake Keola. We're here helping the homeless. We're feeding the homeless. And this is kind of their Thanksgiving dinner. And I, there is a talent show. And there is an artist presentation. And look who I found. I found Bianca. Bianca, how you doing? And uh, since our last interview for Sábado en la Noche, what have you been doing? Ooh. First of all, I'm doing amazing. God is good. The fact that I'm here today and doing this event means the world because I'm sure everybody knows like things have been canceling because of this virus, but we're here and we're not letting the virus stop us from doing God's work. And since then, I've released a new single called Wait about this pandemic. I wrote it actually during quarantine and it's telling us like no matter what we see going on in the world that God still has a plan for us. That is good. And yes, God always has a plan and we have to remain positive in this pandemic. What are the things that you're going to be doing once the pandemic is, is lifting? Are you going to start uh, touring again? Are you going to start doing presentations? So that is the goal. I don't know if you guys know Flavor Fest, but I got accepted this year. So it's postponed for next year. So I already have that in October and just going out, seeing if I can join more tours if I can and just seeing where God takes me, but definitely releasing new music and doing music videos and just reaching out to people like I couldn't this year. Fantastic. And uh, this is uh, to my friends Gus and Paloma Martinez, the excellent job that they're doing. Thank you very much for helping the homeless, giving the talent that is in need a showcase to be able to present themselves. Yo soy DJ Rajatabla. We're going to continue interviewing here and we're going to have a lot more. This is just, mira, we're just beginning the setup. So thank you very much. I'll talk to Bianca after she sang and then we'll keep on. Así que sigan viendo estos videos. Chao. Oh, my God.
Saludos. Tengo un vecino que se llama Sebastián Cagastián, le digo de cariño Es un señor de 45 años Pero tú lo ves de espaldas y parece huerco de 20 güey. La persona más sana que he conocido güey, ¿no? No, no come carne no, no dice groserías, no toma No engaña a su vieja él, pues, Perfecto el pendejo ¿no? Y me caga gente como él porque Verlo me recuerda a la mierda de persona que soy yo güey, ¿no? Ese güey sale a correr Todos los días a las 5 de la mañana Esté como esté el clima y va el pinche Cagastián güey, ¿no? Y se va monitoreando ¿No? Che, domingo, 5 de la mañana, yo vengo de la peda y este pendejo corriendo. ¿Sabes qué hago? Le aviento al carro, chingar a tu madre, Sebastián. ¿no? Ahí anda en chinga buscando banquetas el güey, ¿no? Y yo, ¿querías correr, ojete? ¡Ah! Te estoy dando cardio, puto. ¿no? El vato es muy buen vecino. Si sales de vacaciones, te cuida la casa el güey, ¿no? Y te barre la banqueta. Perfecto vecino, es un Ned Flanders. Estos son los bloopers que pasan aquí. Premiere de Melbourne. This we are in the premiere of Melbourne. We've seen the movie. You can hear the people being happy with uh, their signing autographs, signing the posters, and I have here one of the stars of the movie. My dear, for those that are seeing you for the first time in my show, show remix, can you please tell them your name and the name of the character? My name is Tiffany Jordan, and my character is Detective Johnson. All right, she was. She played one of the policemen. I mean, man, she was. Uh, my dear, um, uh, how important it is in Central Florida to have the event? It's very, very important. It actually uh, gives inspiration to all the actors and actresses out there to give them the motivation to do what they believe in, uh, what they want to do in life, and just keep going and pushing after all their goals. That is true. And then never give up. And, and that is true, never give up. How, um, uh, why is it that we live in a society that kind of pushes down in our dreams? Because as we've seen in the beginning of the movie, there were a lot of no's. But uh, even if we get no's in our lives, or lemons, we have to turn those into lemonades. How important it is to pursue and never give up on our dreams. It's very important that you always be uh, consistent with what you do. That is true. Brother, come on over here. We have another uh, artist that, that was in the movie. And brother, tell me, tell, tell us your name. How you doing? Thank you very much. What is your name? Hi, my name is Travis Clayton. <laughs> Travis Chase, and I play Darnell. Fantastic. And, and brother, how important it is, because I'm from Puerto Rico, how, how important it is for minorities to be involved in um, independent films? Well, it's very important because, for one, a lot of people don't believe in us that we can do this. And you gotta remember, it's very tough for us to do things like this. So we're hearing, hearing a lot of no's, and when you see that one person that looks like you, it really gets you like, oh, I really can do this. So, so yeah, it gives a lot of inspiration to everybody out there saying that, oh, people told me I did I couldn't, and I shouldn't do it, but this guy is doing it, he looks just like me, and why can't I do it? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it really pushes everybody and it, and it gives them the visual that I can do it. How long have you been doing this, uh, acting and stuff like um, that? Acting, I've been doing this for about 10 years off the top. Not 10 years, and how about you, my dear? I'm actually going into my fourth year in November. Well, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I admire and I, I admire you because, yes, I, just because my last name is Rodriguez, a lot of doors have closed on me. That's why I started the show. This why, that's why this has been going on for almost four years with almost 83 countries, especially Congo, Africa, and Zambia, which see me. So, uh, so esto, papá, Africa here. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that you're right. We need to, we need to kind of unite because us as minorities, if 
that would unite, we're more than that. And that's what the, this movie showed. A group of girls of a diverse background came together, proved that they could make a dream, and they went for that dream. You know, it's not going to be an easy task, but it's possible. Do you feel that? Do you feel that anything can be achieved if you focus correctly? Right? Absolutely. Uh, and another thing, uh, not just by diversity on that level, being who I am and my character and my lifestyle, my community of gay lesbians, we have a lot of uh, people in our own don't believe that they can be in different types of movies with different stereotypes. Don't let that stop your dream. Don't let somebody try to discriminate on your lifestyle and say you'll never make it because of that. We keep showing it. And then eventually it will be more than one come together and make a whole community on this. So I'm here to inspire, inspire people in the, in the community that I'm a part of. If I can do it, you can do it. Dear brother, what else would you tend to say to a young blood that is watching this right now uh, to, to never give up on their dreams? What would you say? What, what advice would you give? Say, believe in yourself. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. At the end of the day, only you can tell yourself what you can and what you cannot do. So don't let you trying. stop you. That is a very nice advice. I want to thank you so much. My my uh, my hands of friendship are extended to also to you, and hopefully we can exchange information and probably work on projects together and do comedy productions and all that stuff. But that's for another show and that's for another segment. So you guys check out all these TikToks because they're kicking out TikToks. So they sent me a, a ton of TikTok videos. So you go see them. We're gonna go have a drink or something. I don't know. Bye, Kwanza. See you. Peace. Peace. Tak ngapa dia tahu, kayak pernah boleh, mai dia mea tantap pernah, mai santo saya mea tazalin dong. All the way around through that first sector to try to build up some more speed into the middle part of the course. Two for the lead. Oh, Mahindra, that's gone horribly wrong for the race leaders. Everything was looking so comfortable, but now they've dropped down into fourth position. You can just imagine Dilbag Gill watching this, watching a lead slip away. He'll be so disappointed. One more lap to go after this as you see the clock counts down to zero. Their time is limited for how much they have left to compete. They've got to make their moves now. Porsche out in front as they come down to start the final lap of the race. Jaguar second, Mercedes third, Mahindra fourth, Neo fifth as they come onto the conveyor belt for the final time. There are Porsche out in front, but oh, not for long. Jaguar take them on the final lap. What a resurgent move right there after finishing second to last in the previous M Prix. They've got a great shot at victory here if they can keep the speed up and keep it off the walls. Is this going to be the first points of the year for Jaguar with a victory through the final corner? And it's Jaguar who win the sole M Prix. Porsche across the line in second. Mercedes hold on to their championship advantage in third. Mahindra fourth, Neo fifth, Venturi, to Cheetah, Audi, Dragon, BMW the top ten, Nissan in eleventh, and I'm sorry to say, Envision Virgin Racing once again across the line in last position. Here's a look at the results after 15 laps of racing, three tenths of a second between Panasonic Jaguar Racing and Tagoya Porsche at the top there, three seconds back to Mercedes but a horrible time for Envision. Mercedes looking really strong, you have to say, Greg, as far as the championship is concerned. They, they really have. They've been the paradigm of consistency overall. But how about our top two in this one? Top two started in 8th and 11th, respectively. That's pretty impressive. So the podium celebrations underway. Jaguar with perhaps their biggest win as a motorsport manufacturer. Greg, what a race. That was fantastic. To all the changes up front, the back and forth. We saw the speed build up over the course of the race, and it just shows with some of those moments. Estos son los bloopers que pasan aquí. Bueno, mi gente, yo estoy, soy DJ Rajatabla. Estamos aquí en Lake Iola y mira con quién yo me encontré. ¿Se acuerdan de Michelle de la, de la entrevista que hicimos de Fierce Entertainment? Pues mira, aquí está otra vez. How you doing, my dear? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Happy to be on your show again. Fantastic. So it's nice. And uh, what has Michelle been doing prior to the COVID and during the COVID? 
Well, you know, this is what I do on the side is um, I have my kingdom music. I have my album. It's called Who Do You Say That I Am? And with the COVID, there really hasn't been a lot of events going on. But when this came about, I was so happy about the opportunity to be able to share my music and also volunteer my time for a great cause. So fantastic. And uh, how important it is to uh, bring entertainment to the less fortunate? I think that you know everybody at this time needs it because with everything that's going on, there's been a lot of people that have been kind of down and out, down in the dumps, a little depressed. So I want to bring up people's moods and bring a positive message as well. Fantastic. So you have, uh, who do you say that I am? So what was the inspiration to the music? Um, actually, the music, it's a Christian album, um, but it has songs that are kind of like Movie. Beyonce, Rihanna inspired. So it's, it's music with a message, but it makes you want to get up and clap your hands and dance and also praise God. So Amen. That, that, that is good. A positive message is always necessary. And Michelle, um, now that the COVID, well, it, we're getting into what they call the second wave. In 2021, do you have any other plans uh, uh, pending, you know, COVID goes away? I do actually. I'm working on a video for one of the songs, so and some other exciting stuff to come. So stay tuned. All right. So no para la primicia a nivel de, you know, she's gonna give us the first look yes. of the of the video here in Remix that show. So you're gonna be going in. And how can people get a hold of you in social media? My social media is Michelle underscore Music Love on Instagram, and you can check me out, follow me there, put some likes, and find out what I'm doing in the community coming up soon. And how do, can they get a hold of the album? The album is actually on iTunes and Spotify, and it's, who do you say that I am, Michelle? So, there it is. All right. Bueno, mi gente, este es el álbum nuevo de Michelle. Asegúrense de, de irlo a comprar. Está en Spotify, está en iTunes. Así que, y ella va a hacer un video de, de, de la canción, así que nos va a dar la primicia. Yo soy DJ Rajatada, reportando desde Lequiola, aquí en Help the Old Homeless, ayudando a Gus y a Paloma Martínez a hacer lo que Dios nos manda a hacer. Ser bondadoso y ser justo con aquellos que son menos afortunados. Gracias. Nos seguiremos informando.
so amazing to be able to be given the opportunity to come full circle 20 years later, 2020, um, to a song that holds such special meaning to me. Um, Mulan is the movie and Reflection is the song that actually hand in hand coincided with getting me my record deal within the first week. So everything has such a um, nostalgic, such a symbolic, such an amazing um, thread of just continuity and joy in my life um, and reason why I'm sitting here today. Aquí estamos en la premiere después de ver la película Melt on This. We've already seen the movie Melt on This. And I have a very beautiful couple over here. And I would like you to identify yourself, please. Sir, your name, please. Pablo Villatoro. Pablo Villatoro. ¿De dónde tú eres? Mi familia de Guatemala. Ah, de Guatemala. So that's good. And you are Oh, I loved it. It was hilarious, and I love the concept of just chasing after your dreams. That is important these days. It's like it's like uh, we live in a society where it's bad to be, be, be on your dreams. How important it is to follow your dreams? Oh, it's incredibly important. As a movie kind of showed you a real life situation of how important it is to follow your dreams because you never know what things may actually. Exactly. So, from one to ten, what would you give this movie? Absolutely a ten. Absolutely. Give it a ten. Ten? All right, you heard it. So that means you have to come and see the movie Melt on This whenever it comes out, either in streaming services, so right to Hulu, right to Netflix, and demand that Melt on This is entered in their platform. My brother, thank you very much. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. you are very beautiful. Are you a model or no? Uh, no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the best job. Alright, I'm DJ Rajatabla, and this is the premiere of Melton This. Sufra la competencia. It's so amazing to come back to such an incredible movie that's full of such amazing power and meaning. I mean, I think the meaning holds true to the test of time as far as staying true to yourself, being who you are, being unafraid and fearless to stay true to that and to show the world and be unafraid to um, unmask your true identity. I think it's with, you know, withheld the test of time as a story just because I think everyone on some level um, has to identify and face who they really are at some point. Escúchame lo que te voy a decir. Este tipo es un convicto muy peligroso que pasó mucho tiempo en la cárcel sin ver una mujer. Vi cómo te besaba el cuello. Si quiere tener sexo, no te resistas. Hacé lo que él te pide. Si se enoja, nos puede matar a los dos. Sé fuerte. Te amo. No, no, no me estaba dando un beso. Me estaba susurrando algo al oído. Me dijo que es gay activo y que le pareciste divino. Dice que tenés un culito hermoso. Me preguntó si teníamos vaselina y le dije que estaba en el baño. Sé fuerte, mi amor. Yo también te amo. ¡Qué problema! ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Tantas pruebas! ¡Ay, santo! Ay, no ¡Se me más de esta vida! Todo el día pegado en la cara a las personas, teniendo que aguantar su mal aliento. Si quieres, cambiamos. ¡Tan apretado! ¡Qué problema! ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Tantas pruebas! Ay, santo, se me está saliendo.